Well, from day one in our administration, we put a real emphasis on making sure that everyone in Utah uh, would, would have the economic opportunity and successes that we are seeing on the Wasatch Front. That has meant a, a tremendous effort in rural Utah, uh, where we have completely rewritten many of our, our, our laws uh, that, that allow us to, to help and uh, to incentivize businesses in rural Utah, as well as getting new and additional resources into rural Utah so that their economies can grow. And, and Last, but maybe most importantly, the pandemic has allowed us to do more remote work, which is helping uh, residents in rural Utah have those, uh, those same opportunities that are happening in our most populated areas. Well, we, we've learned so many lessons, but I, I think one of the most important is the way that we communicate with, uh, with some of our communities of color and our, our most underrepresented communities. Um, unfortunately, when the pandemic hit, they were impacted the hardest, the earliest, and we had to m make sure that we were communicating uh, and meeting them where, where they are. And we, we completely revamped the way we did our communications with them, and, and that's something that can bleed over in a very positive way into everything we do in state government, making sure that all citizens in our state have, uh, have access to the same information as, uh, as others and protecting their lives and, and just helping them engage more with government. Absolutely. So this is something that we really started to take seriously a couple years ago when I was serving as Lieutenant Governor. We, um, we brought together some of our folks from Silicon Slopes, which is our, our, um, our tech community here in Utah, and started collaborating on ways that we could get computer science into every school in the state. Uh, it, it, is, it is true that every industry in the nation right now is being influenced by computer science. We need more engineers, we need more coders, and, uh, and so it, it, we, we started this process a couple years ago. We were able to get money from the legislature uh, to, to put into this. A, a curriculum has been developed and we are now rolling that out into every school. So we believe that this will have a huge impact in our state moving forward and make sure that our students are prepared for the jobs of the future.